going on, man, y'all? Man, it's man, Mr. Man. Justified himself, man. I'm live in the vibe with my man, Mr. Primo Rice. Primo, what's good with you, my good brother? How you feeling, man? Stepping in my ice cream. Flavor talk, I give back, give back. Cold gang, cold gang. Mac a thick bitch and some gold frames. Other hoes, I did that. The player pimps, hoes, bank rolls, all of that good stuff, man. Yeah. Cool, 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 man. We're well, linked with my good man here today. Definitely going to get into the project, man. Um, so, Primo, man, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. I know you're originally from the DMV area. Yeah, yeah from PG County, uh, Oxford Hill, to be exact. Well, I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I be everywhere, bro, you know what I'm right. saying? I, I wasn't in the house growing up, so, you know. I Jumped be, off that porch yeah, early. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? jump. My grandma from D.C. and everything, so, you know, I just come around here and everything. Okay. So, yeah, just be moving and shaking back and forth. You know sweet, what I'm sweet, Pretty sweet, much. man. Yeah. Now, I noticed, man, you got a real laid-back, smooth player, you know what I'm saying, style when it comes to your music and everything, man, so... Can you just touch base with me, elaborate, like, like where you really got that influence from, man? Uh, I mean, for real, for real, 70% of it is just me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just, wow. it's just how I roll. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a chill nigga, but, like, influences. I want more so say, probably the biggest influence for my mother, because if it weren't for her, I wouldn't probably be listening to the show. Have, you know what I'm saying? Have the stuff I was listening to, because, like, I was, the way I grew up, it was like, I listen to a lot of music, you know, cussing and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she break all my, you know, we had CDs back in the day. So she break right. all my CDs. And then I just had to listen to a bunch of old school music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it kind of just, it kind of just like became me, you know what right, I'm saying? That right. was all I was hearing. Yeah, know? I heard you was like really into like the Curtis Mayfield, yeah, the Isaac yeah, Hayes yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were like my two favorite guys, you sweet, know what I'm saying? Sweet, but yeah, sweet. it was just mostly like, my folks just, you know what I'm saying, playing old school music all the time. And I just started liking it, you know what I'm saying? I started making mixed CDs of old school songs, you know what I'm saying? Shit, man. So you dating yourself. So as far as like really getting your foot like cemented in the whole rap thing, rap game, how many years in you think, you know, has it been at, you've been in the game? It's really put my foot, I want to say truly just two. Two. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's when I really started making some money, you know what I'm saying, when I started doing it, but... I say the first two is practice years, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, trial and shit. Cause I started like, I started going hard 2014. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But it, it ain't like, I ain't know like, all right, this I, is really I can really it. fuck yeah, with this now. I'm like fucking with it. So yeah, I say like two and a half years. Gotcha, gotcha. So let me ask you this, you know what I'm saying? I'm an original DMV guy like yourself, man. And just growing up in this area, man. It's crazy that I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the rap game is so fresh and new here, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, for me personally, like, Go-Go was a huge influence, you know what I'm saying? So, like, give me your thoughts on, like, how you see or how have you been a part of, how, what's your experience been, been like from that time of when DMV was known as such a big, heavy Go-Go influence yeah, yeah, yeah. to, like, now seeing it, like, damn. Like, niggas is really fucking with this rap shit, not only on the local level, but more on a national scale. Um, I got off the go-go scene early. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say early, like... But, man, you was playing the drums, though, right? Yeah, all that. I went in the go I was just playing the drums for church and stuff, but gotcha. I would go to the go -go's. Like, my mother was kind of strict, so I tell my mother I'm going to my man's house for the weekend. Right. And being the go goes all weekend, you know what I'm saying, type shit. And Chopping like, it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I want to say I got, I stopped like fucking with it. Like, I ain't going to say fucking with it, but you know, I kind of started drifting away like mid 2010, late 2010. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I mean, I seen it happen, you know, because at first, in my, for me, I was just, before like the go goes really got heavy, I literally only used to listen to like 3 Six Mafia and TCB. You know what I'm saying? It was just straight go go. And then for some reason, I don't know. I want to say like, go go didn't grow how it's supposed to grow with the people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just like stay stagnant. And it's not the band's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for real, everybody's fault. It's fair, you know what I'm saying? Fizz was shut down everywhere and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of like, it kind of gave, it stopped the platform for go go in general to really like, niggas would be moving and shaking. So I guess. You know, niggas just drifted to the rap in general because, like, everybody want to make some money. You know what I'm saying? They was making a little money, you know what I'm saying, back in the day and stuff. So, yeah, I want to say it was just, it was money. Yeah. That kind of, like, kind of dragged everything out. For real, for real. And then everybody growing up, 
You know what I'm saying? Because you had your era. Right. We like two different eras. So you had your era when it was like TCB was just really straight cranking, taking over shit. And right. then you had like, my era was more so like ABM. You right. know what I'm saying? New Probably impressions, new impressions. Type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it just kind of, everybody ain't grow. You know what I'm saying? Out of it and stuff. Nah, and I guess, you know, rap just took over. You know, rap always won't be here, so. Yeah. All right, so now just transitioning, you you know, we kind of, you know, Go-Go was at a peak. Mm -hmm. Then we seen the decline, and I feel like it was a dead period. Definitely a dead period. Yeah, and then we got introduced to a space where we had cats like, I mean, Kenny Burns, Studio 4-3, the Wale's, the mm -hmm. um, Kingpin Slims, the, mm -hmm. um, the original OGs, you know what I'm saying, with this rap thing, and now to see... Local guys, like we got my guy, Bo Young Prince doing this thing, Chaz, mm -hmm. guys getting signed left and right. Like, how do you feel about it? Because it, it used to be a point in time, like, shit. Bamas was like, man, we can't make it out of yeah, D.C. Yeah, we got to go down to Atlanta, see what's popping in New York, L.A. I think it's like, hold up, man. We rolling up our beanies. We, we been 99, you know, 992 would out. You know what I'm saying? So how you feeling about, like, really capitalize on like all the energy and attention that's going on right here in the DMV? I mean, it's smooth, man. I feel like I haven't even reached my maximum potential in the DMV in general because my shit really made me bump in the south. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I get shows in the south all the time. Like, but yeah, I, I, I feel like I personally I haven't capitalized. You know what I'm saying? But I like the energy it gives, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a couple things. It can be fixed up out here. Just like guidance wise, I feel like a lot of niggas be trying to be stingy, you know what I'm saying? With the, I don't feel you, man. neck and stuff, you mm -hmm. know? But I mean, it's, I understand, but yeah, I just feel like more guidance, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas still don't know how to get, you know what I'm saying? Everybody still think you really need to go get a deal. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, I just want to say more guidance, bro. Got you. So I'm like, as an artist, so you pretty more, much more see yourself going like the more staying like grounded with the independent route yeah, versus the label? Yeah, pretty much. Unless we get like a partnership, man. Or unless the deal is just good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The thing about rap right now, they get a lot of young niggas to be like a bunch of young niggas. And young niggas be naive. They mm -hmm. just want, they just see that what they about to get. The upfront check not thinking like three, four years from now, bro, this is going to be gone. You go. 10 bands in four days if you really felt like it. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So How like, you gonna recoup that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That advance, that budget. A lot advance, of young gonna be good with their money so these labels can just take advantage of you because they know, you know what I'm saying? But I tell more folks like, to be independent, you just gotta be patient, man. Mm -hmm. You don't know when it's gonna come. Like, you don't know when you'll break it. Everybody's independent that's good independent, they get their little break, their little spurt, but you never know when it comes. You just got to kind of just stay diligent, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing and just keep your money right. Yeah, man. And, and what I've seen as far as like the independent artists is that, man, when you build more of like a cult-like organic type of following, mm -hmm. then I'm like, hey, man, like I take a, set, a solid thousand followers over the, you know what I'm saying? Over 100K ghost followers who don't, don't even exist. That, you know what I'm saying? Don't think about that. You know what what I'm Man, you rather get, I forgot who told me this, but I always thought like somebody, I forgot who said this, but they was like, you get a hundred people to spend ten twenty dollars with you, you know what I'm saying? This consistent hundred, this is a hundred people, right? You know what I'm saying? And you good, you know what I'm saying? I tell everybody in the business, as long as you can put money to run your business, back in your business, you good, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people would, like get discouraged because like. They not making no money for real. That's just spend and blow and mm -hmm. get discouraged. But if you got money, if you get it the way you can just keep funding your career. Right, that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah.